Mixtures, mixtures. Once we mix them, is it still possible to separate them? Hmm. Let's see. Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on and let's see how science is everywhere! Today, we are going to talk about separating homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. In this topic, we will discover the following. What are the different ways of separating the components of a mixture? How can we benefit from separating mixtures? So, from my question earlier, is it still possible to separate mixtures once you combine them? Well, the answer is yes. And here are the different ways how. First is decantation. It is used when there is an insoluble solid in a liquid or there are two immiscible liquids in a heterogeneous mixture. An example of this is when you wash the rice before cooking. Is the rice an insoluble solid? Yes! We need to pour out the dirty water and leave the washed rice. Another example is a mixture with two immiscible liquids like oil and water. We can separate water and oil by taking out the denser liquid using a separatory funnel. Which liquid do you think is denser? Oil or water? That's correct! It's water! Second is sieving. It is a separation process of removing materials that have an unwanted size in a solid mixture. You need to use a sifter or strainer to do this. An example is when you sift the flour to remove the bigger chunks of flour. This is to ensure that there will be no chunks in your flour mixture. Third one is filtering. This is a process similar to sieving. But don't get confused. Filtering is used to separate solids from a liquid. An example is when you make tea. Have you noticed that there is a tea bag? Yes. This serves as the filter so you can only drink the filtered liquid and prevent the tea leaves from mixing with water. Last but not the least is evaporation. Did you know that evaporation is also a way to separate mixtures? Yes, it is! An example of this is sea salt farming. Have you ever wondered how people harvest salt? If you thought of seawater, then you're correct! People in coastal communities have sea salt farms where they utilize the heat of the sun to evaporate the seawater which lives behind salt crystals. So, why is separating mixtures beneficial in our daily lives? Here's why. First is for food manufacturing. The cereals we purchase undergo sieving process to remove undersized or oversized cereal pieces to achieve size consistency. Sieving is involved in manufacturing of citrus juice wherein seeds, pops, and peels are separated through strainers. This is to ensure that there are no solids included in the juice when it is packed. Second is for byproducts. 
The best example is milk. Did you know that cheese, cream, milk powder, and butter are all byproducts of milk? Yes! They have different uses, but they come from one raw material produced by separation processes such as decantation and evaporation. Decantation happens when a cow's fresh milk is left for a while. The cream floats on top of the milk and the cream is collected and separated from the milk. Evaporation process is done to skim milk, which is the leftover milk from the separated cream. The watery skim milk is evaporated and the remaining milk mist is exposed to air and will result in powdered milk. Finally, for the water we drink. We don't just drink water from the faucet. Originally, the water we drink comes from springs and man-made dam before it flows to our homes for consumption. They undergo filtration to separate the dirt and odor so that it will be ready to drink. So there you go! Now, can you tell what process of separation is done in these mixtures? First, salt water. Second, water and rice. Third, spring water. Fourth, flour. Did you get everything right? Great! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere! This is Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye everyone!